Hi, my name is Gwen Foster. I want to talk about why it's a good idea to have a private consultation with a naturopath. I have been doing this for almost 20 years and what I would say is is that I see a lot of people that buy things at the health food store or they read something in a magazine or they buy something at the drugstore and it, or Costco and it sounds like a really good idea especially because of maybe digestive issues or heart palpitations or something that they have going on but what I'll say is that most people when they come to see me and they have like a bag of supplements or a box of supplements or sometimes multiple bags of supplements what I find is most of the time is that the supplements are not either working or they're not really what the person needed so they could be taking four or five or ten things for let's say chronic fatigue or for fibromyalgia but it may not be what's really going to help them and so a private uh, consultation we look at everything like emotional and anatomical physical um, herbs nutrition homeopathy um, it's all important you know it's hard I think it's like I would I would compare what I do to your car breaks down and are you gonna try to figure out how to fix it yourself or are you gonna take it to someone who knows how to fix cars are you gonna do your own taxes or are you gonna take them to a tax professional that's what I think is important about your own health. And honestly, when you go to the doctor, there are a lot of things that are not ever gonna be addressed. And the medications have many side effects. I'm not telling you not to go to a doctor. I'm telling you that that's just part of the picture. They're not gonna talk about nutrition. They're not gonna talk about parasites or candida. They're not gonna have really specific solutions for a lot of things and, and really, um, even in the appointments that I do, I look at blood work interpretation. And even just from a very technical and scientific standpoint, many blood work patterns are overlooked. And so, you know, if someone has high cholesterol, you know, someone gets a statin drug recommendation like Crestor or Liptor, but it's not addressed why they have high cholesterol. People just don't get high cholesterol. Either they have a fat digestive issue, they have a low thyroid issue, um, they have a liver issue, all of these are the underlying cause. So if you take a statin drug, if you go online and look at all those potential side effects, they include muscle cramps, leg issues, restlessness, I mean they can actually add to a lot of other problems. And then you're taking a new medication for that. And so I'm not telling you not to take your statin drug, this is not medical advice. What I'm saying is that with headaches, migraines, high cholesterol, and most of the common things that people deal with, there is an underlying cause that needs to be identified and addressed. So then you can really streamline your, your basically your health plan and your steps to finding the best solution that's for you. And in 20 years, I have not met two people that are the same. A lot of people are deficient in certain things like iron or they need a digestive enzyme but no two people have had the exact same issues for the exact same reasons. There are, I see, do see trends, like similar issues with blood type A's and similar issues with blood type O's, things like that, but that's maybe the only thing that repeats as a pattern. And sometimes, you know, it's um, lifestyle, sometimes it's nutrition, diet, lack of exercise, lack of drinking water. I mean, those are really the basics. But I don't tell that to everybody. So when I do a health assessment, it's a very customized approach. It's a very, like, this is what is best for you, not what's best for your sister, not what's best for the general public. Um, also, what I see, and I'm not really trying to knock anything here, but a lot of people come in with very expensive multi-level marketing products that I generally think are overpriced. and. They're taking, you know, five or 10 things that are costing several hundred dollars a month and their issues are still not resolved. Their chronic fatigue isn't resolved. The fibromyalgia is not resolved. The low thyroid symptoms are not resolved. So I'm not, I don't sell any MLM products. I don't recommend any MLM products. It doesn't mean there's not good ones out there. But sometimes what I find is people, and I'm not exaggerating, people can spend two to $600 a month on supplements and think that they're doing something really good, but they're really not. And sometimes just with taking that many pills, you have too much gelatin in your stomach, that which is fat, which is B fat, which the body has to break down. 
Sometimes there's vegetarian capsules. Sometimes, depending on the quality of the product, they're not broken down at all. Especially, I did another video on um, supplements and quality. And, um, you know, if you buy super cheap products, you're getting what you pay for. But what I'm really trying to say is maybe you only need three or four or five products, not 10 or 20. So if you have the right products that do the right things for what you have going on, it's still gonna cost you less money in the long run than you just walking through Whole Foods or a health food store and just trying to decide what you need for yourself. So I hope this helps. Um, a private consultation with me lasts between an hour and an hour and a half. I really tried to get to know my clients. Actually, I usually get to know them better than sometimes they know themselves or people know them, especially when we get into some of the emotional aspects, but it's all important to the overall game plan for you. And if you've never had an assessment or appointment with a naturopath, um, I might be a good one to start with. But um, if you have questions or would like to schedule an appointment, my contact information is under this video, and you can also reply on social media. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.